Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the master code on an Ademco system. Um, primarily, uh, most of you out there have an ADT Ademco system or it could be First Alert Ademco system. It'll, it'll work the same, okay? So if you don't know what the master code is, I'm going to show you how to change the master code. Now, um, in some of my other videos, like on the GE system, I can show you how to retrieve the master code. But with an Ademco system, you cannot retrieve the master code. You have to actually change it. And the only way to change the master code on an Ademco system is you have to know what the installer code is. Now, if you don't know what the master code is on your system and also you don't know what the installer code is on your system, I'm going to leave a link down below for a video on how to retrieve the installer code from your Demco system so that you can change your master code. All right. Sounds kind of confusing, but it'll start coming a little bit more clear as I go through the video. So again, to change the mass, an unknown master code from an Ademco system, you must know what the installer code is, all right? Or you won't be able to change the master code unless you do know what the installer code is, all right? And the other thing I'm going to do is first I'm going to change the master code using a custom English keypad. And then I'm going to show you how to change the change the master code using a fixed English keypad, which I call the ADT hostage keypad. And this is most likely what probably 80% of you see on your, your wall in your kitchen or your hallway from ADT is this fixed English hostage keypad. All right. So again, the one thing piece of equipment piece of information you need is you need the installer code and again if you don't know what your installer code is for your system I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description so that you can retrieve the installer code from your Demco system so that you can um, change the master alright so right now I do not know what the master code is for this system alright so how you change the master code on one of these systems is I'm gonna actually turn this around So this is the that's the fixed English. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna bring this right up in here. Let me just get in, get you guys in position here. Okay, so now I know that my installer code is 6321. Alright. So yours could be something else. It could be 4321, it could be 1234, it could be 2345, it, it could be anything. But anyways, my installer code is 6321. So how you change the master code on your Ademco system is you punch in the installer code, and mine is 6321, so I'll go 6321, and then you hit 802, and then the four new digits that you want to use as your master code. Now, a key thing to keep in mind is on your master codes, try not to ever use a zero, and try not to use double keys like a 2255 or 3333 or something like that. So again, don't use zeros and don't use double digits, all right? Because it can screw up the system. It, it may not hear both those digits at the same time. So I'm going to change my code to 2345, all right? I'm going to change my master code to 2345 because right now it's unknown. So let's go two three four five away nope doesn't work so I'm going to change my master code to two three four five so punch in your installer code six three two one then hit eight zero two and the new four digits you want to use two three four five it gives off that one beep saying yes it accepted it so now let's try it two three four five off so that worked so let's 
arm it. Two, three, four, five, away. Two, three, four, five, off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. All right. That is how you change the master code using a custom English keypad. Now, using a fixed English keypad, it's exactly the same. It's just going to... It's not going to show you too much information up here on the, on the, uh, on the display. Basically, the, the custom English keypad really doesn't show you anything either. But it's exactly the same over here. So let's try it. Two, three, four, five away. Two, three, four, five off. Arm. Disarmed. Ready to arm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the master code two, three, four, five. I'm going to change it to one, two, three, four. All right. Again using the installer code. So let's check it. One, two, three, four, off. Nope, does not work. So let's change it. Again, punch in your installer code. Six, three, two, one. Then hit 802, 802. The four new digits you want to use. One, two, three, four. Beeps once, okay? So now let's try the old master code to see if it's gone. Two, three, four, five, off. It's gone. One, two, three, four, away. One, two, three, Arm four, off. Away. Disarmed. Ready to arm. All right. That is how you do it with the fixed English. So let's try it over here. Two, three, four, four, five, away. Nope. Doesn't work. One, two, three, four, away. One, two, three, four, off. All right, guys, so that is how you change an unknown master code on an Ademco system. This can work for several systems. Any of the ADT Ademco systems out there, it'll work on there. Even the ADT Quick Connects. You know those, those boxes? It's a self-contained box on your wall, and it's got the speaker and everything all built into it. It works exactly the same on one of those. That's how you... You change it okay and that is how you retrieve um, the link down below you can retrieve the mass the installer code out of your quick connect using the same method I show you in, in the uh, video down below all right so this will work on basically any Ademco system basically any first alert system like the FA100 FA110 120 130 140 any of those FA systems it'll work all right that's all I got for you right now, guys. Question, comments, leave it down below. See you on the next one.